We love you, Manuela. <laughs> Did you see that? Dorothea looked right at me. Well, that crowd was amazing. I thought they were going to faint on the spot the moment you appeared. Pretty impressive reaction, considering how long it's been since you quit the stage. Don't sell yourself short, Dorothea. Those people were cheering full throat for you as well. That's also a fine reaction, considering you left the songstress life behind nearly two years ago. But time passes quickly. And let me tell you, it has certainly done a number on me. Oh, stop it. Time hasn't diminished your beauty nor your voice. Well, you're very sweet to say so. But we both know I'm getting by with smoke, mirrors, and the skin of my teeth. I'm no longer fit to command the stage. At best, I can serve as a bodyguard to our successors in the Middle Franc Opera Company, as they look to entertain our troops. Yes, well, all kidding aside, we both know it was the current songstress, Adrienne, who received the loudest cheers from the crowd. Hey, so, not to bring down the mood, but, uh, what am I doing here? I don't know the first thing about opera, and I'm sure you had plenty of people clamoring to keep all of you safe on this little excursion. So, why me? We've already been over this, Dorothea. You and I both know this kind of thing isn't my cup of tea. Actually, your unfamiliarity is the reason we chose you to accompany us. If we brought along a bunch of star-struck fans to serve as escorts, it would end in disaster. Sadly, we've learned from experience that people will use any excuse to get close to our singers. Sometimes, they even convince themselves that we've reciprocated their feelings, when we've clearly done nothing of the sort. Alas, we've all had to get quite good at close-quarter combat as a result. The Opera Company was where I learned my dagger skills, though I admit it's hardly the most appropriate weapon for a battlefield. Sounds intense. Indeed. Behind the glitz and glamour of the stage, swirl all manner of dark desires. But when it works, everyone comes together to beat back the darkness and create something magical. Like most everything else, you just have to take the good with the bad. <sighs> this kind of talk really takes me back. Forgive our intrusion, my lady, but we're ready to begin moving again. We should reach the next town in a little over... Hmm? What's all that racket? Sounds like we're up. Don't let them harm any members of the company. We must protect the opera company. Make this a performance to remember. <laughs> Are these kidnappers? Thieves? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll send them packing no matter who they are. Oh, these people look fancy. And fancy folk always got valuables on them. Now drop what you've got! Quick. I'm getting stronger. I'm getting better, but at what cost? Thank you. I can keep going now. We should be safe now. Singers, go on ahead. <sighs> the 
They're getting away! Oh, you screwed this up for us good! Still more of them, huh? This wiping them out's our only choice. How long can this go on? And how many of these boars are there anyway? Have no fear, my dear Manuela. I have come to rescue you. Adam, you came for me. Oh dear, am I actually into this? Sweet surprise. It's Manuela and Dora Kia in the flesh. Somebody sock me, cause I gotta be dreaming. You're so beautiful, Dorothea. I was a huge fan when I used to live in the capital. Please, let me come with you. This reminds me of the battle scenes from our operas. You always were a natural at stage combat, Manuela. And you were no slouch either, Dorothea. Your swashbuckling lit up the proscenium. Oh, Manuela! I'll follow you anywhere. Huh? Ever have often wondered if others like you never learn of their talents and fall instead into the bandit life? Yes, I suppose it's lucky I turned out this way, instead of as a common thief lurking by the side of some... D yeah, not bad. Dusty highway. the diva duet we'll charm them into submission apologies i wasn't actually fishing but i still like what we caught it's good to know the people still really love us especially bandits apparently not quite sure how to feel about that. <sighs> I hope everyone from the opera company made it safely to town. We had bandits popping out from every which way, didn't we, Manuela? Indeed. But those rogues were no match for our combined charms. You even managed to woo some of them to our side. I'm impressed. I could never do that. Still, why were there so many bandits camped this close to a town? Is it because of the war? In a sense. Care to explain that? Of course. You see, towns within the Empire have begun tightening their security for fear of the enemy. And in regions near the front line, such as this one here, there are naturally more soldiers about. That leaves the bandits with no place to go. Sounds like they should just abandon the brigands' life and become mercenaries instead. Easier said than done. Take the bandits we just fought. It's not as if they have a chain of command or central organization. They are clearly a group that came together out of common interest and survival, not any manner of grand military ambition. Guess that explains why they fought the way they did. All swagger and no plan. In any case, I came the moment I heard about bandit activity in the area. I hypothesized the opera company might be targeted, and so rushed to your aid. Well done, Hanuman. That's a more clever course of action than I expected from you. You could have ended that before the second part. Oh, don't be 
be upset. In fact, you should be pleased I feel comfortable enough with you to speak my mind. It's nice how you two can be so honest with each other. Do you think so? Well, that's certainly a more pleasant way to view things. That's exactly how I try to look at it. At least until a certain someone comes along and screws it up. All right, knock it off, you two. If you insist on indulging in these sparring sessions, at least have the courtesy to let the rest of us leave the area first. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's leave him to it. No, wait! I apologize. Just please don't leave me alone with this woman. I'm also sorry. Let's just forget this ever happened and head back as one big happy family. All right? Huh? What's... Oh, it's a dream. Why do you always settle for such simple reasoning? You know this is more than a fabrication of your sleep-addled mind. Our first reunion in who knows how long, and you try to write me off as a figment of your imagination? Hmm. Sorry about that, though I was definitely asleep last I checked. Anyway, what do you want? To warn you, something is troubling me, eating away at me actually. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I can sense a presence closing in on you. A dangerous one. The Ashen Demon, right? This wouldn't be your first warning about that one. Hmm, that might be it. Perhaps the two of you will square off in battle soon. Good, because this time I'm gonna win. I have to. Fortunately, I'm pretty used to these powers of yours by now. Then I'll let myself stay just a tiny bit optimistic. Just don't forget that your opponent has had as much time to grow as you. Your future isn't the only one at stake here. The demon could also put an end to Edelgard's vision with as little as one swing of a sword. Whatever happens, we can't let all our hard work be undone. Since when have you been such a warrior? I've got this, trust me. I won't let anything happen, not to Edelgard or to the others. What do you mean? I'm always worried about you. After all, you're my... Yeah, yeah, I'm your partner in destiny. <laughs> I finally got you to say it! <sighs> How wonderful! I knew Count Burglis was formidable, but I clearly did not give the man enough credit. I thought for certain he would have fallen by now, and yet here we are. If we're handing out credit, Claude deserves some as well. Maintaining a siege for this long takes its own toll on morale. Yet his troops remain disciplined, well-positioned, and ready to engage us. One advantage to a siege is mobility. They can deploy soldiers up and down the line as needed to keep the upper hand. In other words, they are outfitted with many highly mobile units, which means they can respond quickly to enemy reinforcements as well. If we rush in blindly and are driven back, it would likely break our ally spirits for good. Not even Count Burglis would be able to rally them again. Surrender would be the only option. <sighs> Why are they wavering now when we're so close? We're not looking to win the war today. We just have to break the siege. We should attack their lines at multiple positions. We don't need to win the battle. We just need them to break formation long enough for the Count and his troops to get out of there. Well, this is new. 
You are not often one to give voice to your opinions on tactics. Still, you have struck the proverbial nail on the head. It is exactly how we must proceed. Then it's decided. I look forward to your exploits on the battlefield. Today, we free our Imperial allies and reward their continued valor in the face of impossible odds. Count Berkeley's controls the stronghold in the center of the flame, but the enemy has him completely cut off from Ace. Our goal is to break the siege so he and his troops can evacuate safely. This is much for securing surrender before reinforcements arrive. Well, you all know what to do. Engage the enemy. There's no time for the delicate approach. Let's tear into him from all sides! No victory this day if we do not rescue both Burglies and his troops. I'm itching to show what my muscles can do. Now, who wants to be first? Wait. I stand with my friends and will not permit you to pass. That's Raphael. Don't kill him, please. Let me talk to him first. Negotiations with Margrave Edmund still ongoing. Will you come with me? Perhaps Leave we can win Marianne me. over to our side. I thought I might find you here, Lawrence. Yes, House Gloucester fights with the Empire now. But what of you? Is this truly where you wish to die? Don't have to do this, Rafa. Well, think about Maya. She needs you, remember? Hey, no fair. But uh, all right, you nuts. I'm in, but only because it's you. Her Majesty comes to rescue us. I know your spirits are weary, but rekindle them now with whatever spark of hope remains in your soul. What does it matter if I die? The talks with Margrave Edmund will go much better if you surrender here. Will you not consider it? You're right. My adoptive father would want me to lay down my arms, not my life. We have broken through! Continue pushing! We must secure an exit for our allies. Taking down those strongholds will drive a wedge into their siege. There are two strongholds. Look, I really need to hold this line, so why don't you just leave and we'll call it a day. We must deploy our forces with cleverness to be taking fault. Now, charge and attack! Please stand down, Hoda. It would grieve me terribly to take your life. We'll do it together! should stand down, because I'm not going anywhere. Get out of there, Hilda. We can't lose you. Yeah, all right. Sorry. Hmm. 
All right, here they come. But I came here to fight, and I won't back down. Our Sordelia has already offered us their allegiance. Which means Lysithia is here of her own accord. A detachment of white mages stands ready to mend our wounded comrades. Hold on! I can't fight you! You're from House Ordelia! Well, don't expect me to hold back just because you do. Not bad. No, not bad at all. I heard about what was done to you, Lysa. And as one who understands that intimately, I ask you to join my cause. You too? Yes. All right, I'll hear you out. No, if they'll just be kind enough to let us escape this way. Now, heal Count Burglies' forces. Pay attention now. Is coming apart at the seams. Deploy the reinforcements. Fill those gaps. They're trying to shore up areas where we've thinned their ranks. Don't let that happen. Well met, my son. For the first time in my life, I thought my end had come for me. Yeah, I've never seen you in such bad shape. You look half dead. The siege is broken, men. Your courage and perseverance have been rewarded. The way is open. Move as one and defend the Count and his soldiers as we go. You think I'm just gonna let you sling out of here? <laughs> I'm already two steps ahead. Looks like we're up. They cut off our escape and... Oh no, look who's with them. We won't put a dent in Gerald's company with the numbers he has. I vote we rush Claude's main position instead. It would indeed catch him by surprise. But do we flank from the left or right? Either way, let's choose a path and clear out anyone foolish enough to stand before us. <laughs> Very well. We attack from that direction. Her Majesty blazes a train. Charge! His retreat is looking more and more like a full-on assault. Stay with him, everyone. Hold on. Are they coming for us? We're nearly clear of the battlefield. Just one more push and... Oh no! It won't do to have you slip our grasp now. Uh. 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 demon. Clever of Claw to keep this little surprise for the moment it was matter most. I'll handle the mercenary. The rest of you press on. Don't... Stop, no matter what! You'll never get a better crack at the Alliance's leadership, Your Majesty. Hit them with all you have. Leave nothing on the battlefield. Count Burglies is keeping the Ashen Demon busy, which means now is our chance to strike at Claude. I can stand this no longer. I'm falling back. They're avoiding us entirely and attacking the main position instead. Looks like someone over there has half a brain after all. Rick's done. Get up there. This was fun. 
barely even got to stall for time. If these arms get any bigger, I'll have to start going sleeveless. Smash that stronghold into ro- The battle's lost if they've made it this far. But maybe I can still take out an officer or two. Bubble. I must bring the stronghold down efficiently. So you're the one who's messing up all of my clever plans. Hey, I just work here. You're gonna make a nice trophy for the Emperor. Is that all you got? You got my back? Let's make a scene! We'll do it together! I got you now! That's all I can take. Let's see if our new mercenary friend is worth all that gold. Must be getting old. Enough! I'm falling back. Which just leaves the Ashen Demon. We're close to the finish now. So let's take whatever time we need and do this right. That clash with Count Burglies has left the demon weary. This could be our best chance to crush that pest for good. No escape. This didn't go how I expected, but I can still do some damage. How many times have we fought now? Either way, this will be the last. You're right about that. I'm not letting you leave here alive, Ashen Demon. I'll take you all on. Witness my true life. Let's make a scene! We'll do it together! I've got you now! The Empire has grown strong. I might actually have to work for this one. We finally got that menace on the ropes. We can win this! for one so small. Perhaps you truly are one of their descendants. In any event, you labor to destroy my vessel, did you not? That is a deed most foul. One you will pay for with your life! <laughs> You cannot hope to win so bound in flesh. Pitiful. This isn't a fight you can win. Get out of there! You can run all you like. Why do you... fight me? Why so this? I'm sorry, Claude. They were too much for us. It's all right, Hilda. Well, it's not, but I knew this was a possible outcome. I was hoping the terrain might let us hold, but against that many soldiers deployed that skillfully, it just wasn't enough. You sound sad. It's a little weird. Can you blame me? Look at how many people have died because I decided to fight this war. <sighs> Maybe I should have just let the Empire have their way. My father and the others never would have accepted that. You had to throw everything you had at the enemy at least once, or they'd think you were a coward forever. Wow, Hilda. I didn't think you'd picked up on all of that. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Too bad everything I had still wasn't enough. Well, the next step is to put our heads together and figure out what to do next. I hope you don't mind if I lean on you and that brother of yours for support. Lester's round table is overdue for some big changes. Again, your majesty. You've got my deepest thanks for rescuing us. And since my lack of foresight's to blame, let me apologize again for what happened. I will not hear of it, Count Burglies. Had any but you been in command, I would be collecting corpses right now instead of thanks. I failed to see what Duke Regan and Count Gloucester were plotting. The blame is mine alone. So I will hear no more self-reproach from you. Go now and rest those weary bones. I'm grateful for the kindness, Your Majesty. Honestly, this experience shook me more than you might realize. I never would have made it through without the brave men and women who served me. They're the ones who deserve your praise. Understood. I will see they are duly rewarded. Hubert, summon Monica and have that put in writing as an official decree. And now, I want to know how we are faring with our efforts in the kingdom. And here I thought we won. As did I. Who knew the Ashen Demon had that kind of strength? Not that I'm making excuses. You gave me power of my own, and it still wasn't close to enough. That's not true. Of course it is. What am I even up against here? It's like I looked away for one second, and suddenly I was facing someone else entirely. Hmm, that would explain what was troubling me before. That is the unique danger I sensed. Still, you can win this fight. I know you can. And I'll do whatever I can to make it so. We'll claim victory over that monster together. You know what? You're right. I'll be strong enough one day if I just keep at it. Still, one day could be years from now at this rate. We should probably think of a backup plan. And hey, the Ashen Demon's a mercenary, right? Might be best for the Empire to toss some coin their way and put the rivalry behind us. You want to hire that thing? Seriously? Fighting side by side with the Ashen Demon? Are you mad? You make it sound like the worst idea in the world. We have a war to win here, remember? Gotta keep an open mind. Ah, I understand now. You've witnessed your adversary's true strength and convinced yourself you cannot win. What? No. I just know a valuable resource when I see one. And we're far better off with them than we are against them. If that's really how you feel, then so be it. But trust me, you don't need to worry. You'll get stronger soon, I promise. So maybe don't go relinquishing your prey just yet. After all, I desire nothing more than to see you achieve your goals. Does not defy the hand, and yet you've done just that. So this is my name, yet I am also called The Beginning. I am progenitor and mother to all who call Fodlin home. Where am I? I am not here to answer all you ask. Yet I will grant the one. You stand before my throne. If you so wish, then take a seat. But know then that your flesh is mine to wield. You lack the power to resist. 
My flesh? What are you saying? You should not have interfered! I could have cut that wretch down with a stroke! Oh, that one vexes me so. When next we meet, I must step in and deal with them myself. It is quite clear that you cannot my power safely wield. Do I speak plain? Not in the slightest. I have so many questions. Hey, lazy bones. <laughs> Get up already. You sure you're all right? You don't seem like yourself. I'm fine. Just a strange dream. Like the ones you used to have. Yes, but this time we talked. Huh? You fool! That was no dream! Ugh. What's wrong? Nothing. Wait, didn't you... Do you lack wits? My voice is not for him. Whenever I speak, it is for you alone. On second thought, I think there is something wrong. I mean, my hair's still a different color, right? Yes, and your eyes too. How that happened is beyond me. Anyway, we lost the battle, so probably best to wave this place goodbye and find somewhere to rest up. Is that a fact? Actually, I think I'd feel more comfortable staying here on the battlefield a while longer. I just need to swing my sword around, get my head on straight. Don't worry, I'll be fine. If you say so, but if it gets any worse, tell me. Hubert, if you would. Of course, Your Majesty. Let me apprise you all as to what is going on. As you know, our Talons have been sunk in our little alliance problem for some time now. But now we must deal with the Kingdom, which has sent an army to claim the heads of Count Roe and any others who came over to our side. However, Roe is seated at Arian Road, the fortress city, a citadel as hard to crack as Fort Mercius. Ah, Arian Road, the Silver Maiden. Seems sort of weird to call a big hulking place like that a maiden. That's because she's as hard to get near as the purest of maidens. If you're still confused, that's your own problem. Yeah, I still don't get it. Our reports indicate that despite the strength of the Kingdom's army, they are still struggling to take the fortress city. But, given enough time, they will. Unless we send reinforcements, Therefore, we must direct our attention to the Kingdom once more. Will this constant bouncing between the Kingdom and Alliance not take its toll on our soldiers? Who said we were taking our entire force? We will depart for Garigmok with elite troops, then collect fresh units before proceeding west. Simultaneously, I plan to have Duke Garrett summon the Western Lord soldiers and march toward the fortress city. We will join up at that point and strike at the Kingdom's main force together. What say you to that? I would say it is the ideal strategy, at least on paper. Okay, let's keep our optimism in check here. I mean, speaking from personal experience, nothing ever turns out the way you want it to. Should we be having concern? If the plan is good, we will find success. And the Alliance? They may attempt another one of their schemes while we're distracted. They will not. Her Majesty is taking a measured approach to resolving matters with Lester. Count Burgley's is worn as thin as they are. We will have him set up camp at the Great Bridge and continue negotiations from there. To our advantage, Gloucester's new Count Lawrence has decided to join the Empire. Additionally, the daughters of Houses Ordelia and Edmund have been given leave to fight by our side. 
Besides, from what I hear, the round table is too busy chewing itself apart to start any more trouble. That leaves only the Knights of Saros to contend with. The Minister of Religious Affairs will handle them. My father? But he's not capable of facing the Knights! I let the Ashen Demon outmaneuver me in the last battle. That won't happen again.